We just did the TA and where the Fibonacci extensions are. So here's where you want to get long in some big stocks. First up is Palantir, P-L-T-R. You want to get long at 28-ish. Again, it's not just a pencil line. It's 28-ish and your, your price target there, the next Fibonacci extension is 34. Snap is now a widely held company. You want to get long at 69-ish. At the 69-ish is when you want to jump in the trade, and that's where the breakout's going to be. And the price target, you're going to love this one, is at $40 more at 109. That's the next Fibonacci extension is at 109. The next one is Tesla. Now, Tesla's already above this. You want to get long at 700 and stay long at 700 if it stays above that Fibonacci level. Now, the price target is going to be 880. 880 is the price target. That's the next Fibonacci extension and next level of interest on the technical analysis. Etsy, you want to get long at 209-ish, 209-ish, and that thing, the next Fibonacci extension, is going to run you to 335. That's a good risk reward there. 335 is where we would jump out of the trade. Next up is Netflix. You want to get long at 590-ish, and that could run to 6. 50. 650 again is the next level of interest or the next Fibonacci extension. That's where we would get long and then get out of the trade. Twitter, you want to get long at 75 ish. Simple. Um, the, real, the next Fibonacci extension is hard to tell there, but you want to get long at 75. Walmart, you want to get long about 155 ish. 155 ish is where we see a breakout at. The next technical level, next Fibonacci extensions, right about 200 is where we see that we would jump out of the trade. Then we have Yeti, not Yeezy, but Yeti. Y-E-T-I, the cooler. You wanna jump in at 106. That's where we would get long in that trade. And then you wanna jump out at 161. At 161 is the next Fibonacci extension level. Getting down to the last two. Next we have is Home Depot. Now Home Depot, you wanna get long at 287-ish. Again, 287-ish. The price target that we have on there, the next Fibonacci extension, is 367. That's where we jump out of the trade and take profits. Lastly is Crude Futures. It's been trading sideways for a couple weeks, if not months now, but between 66 and 76. Uh, if you understand that, you can trade that. So if it gets down to about 67, 68, you get real long and you know that your price target's about 76. But understand, if it beats the 76 mark, you can go real long in crude there, in crude futures. So again, but if it gets below 666, we would just drop it.